Now what is 6 sigma? Y6 and Y sigma. 6 is the number after 5 and the number before 7. And sigma is a Greek letter. The uppercase Greek letter sigma looks like this. And the lowercase sigma letter looks like this. Now if you recall your algebra, your basic math, the uppercase sigma in math means summation. While for the lowercase, it means standard deviation. Therefore, it means six standard deviations. But then you might ask, Rex, you just mentioned that your mission is to make Six Sigma simple and practical. Then what the hell are you talking about? What do you mean by standard deviation? I do not understand what standard deviation is. Well, here is the simplest explanation of what standard deviation is. Now, let's say the time is 12 noon. You're out for lunch, but you have a meeting at exactly 1 p.m. And because of that, of course, you're in a hurry. So what you do is you pick up your phone, you dial McDonald's. You tell the McDonald's manager and you ask the McDonald's manager, Mr. Manager, how long will it take for me to fall in line, tell you my order, pay, wait, and get my order? Oh, Rex, it would take you, the green line, on an average, five minutes. Oh, not bad. If there's McDonald's, of course, beside it, if not in front of it, there's always Jollibee. Now, what you do is you pick up the phone again, you dial, and you ask the same set of questions to the Jollibee manager. The Jollibee manager replies, Rex, on an average, it would take you five minutes. Now the question is, since you are in a hurry, between McDonald's and Jollibee, where will you go? The answer is, it doesn't matter. Because if your reference point is the average, both McDonald's and Jollibee's average would take you five minutes. Now, most managers only use average in comparing processes. If you have been trained in Six Sigma, you'll have two very important process measurements. Number one is the average, and the second one is standard deviation. If you factor in standard deviation to this scenario, and you ask the McDonald's manager, how long will it take me to fall and dine? tell you my order, pay, wait, and get my order, McDonald's manager will tell you, Rex, on the average, you'll wait for 5 minutes, but it will be somewhere between 3 to 7 minutes. Okay. For Jollibee, it will tell you, Rex, on the average, you'll wait for 5 minutes, but it's somewhere between 1 to 16 minutes. Now, factoring both averages and standard deviations, where will you go? The answer is, you will go to McDonald's because the McDonald's process is more consistent. Standard deviation is a measure of consistency. Standard deviation is the spread of data with respect to the average. As you can see, the spread of data for McDonald's will just be within 3 to 7 minutes. On the average, is 5 minutes. For Jollibee, the average is also 5 minutes, but the spread of data or the variation is bigger, and it will be within 1 to 16 minutes. And again, it means we will prefer McDonald's because its process is more consistent.